This is War Nerf Mods, and I told you guys in another video that I was going to be making a plus bow or um, lock plus load, but instead I made something a lot cheaper and actually even better than a plus bow. It's called um, a 2 11, so just a 2 11. But uh, it's designed by Captain Slug, and you can make a really easy foregrip for it. It actually has that in the designs, which is pretty cool. So you don't need to find a whole nother tutorial on how to do that or something. And the catch is pretty simple. It's just, it goes, um, this metal piece there goes back there. You can kind of see that but there's a beveled edge in there so it goes back and pushes that up and then it locks back down um, on that side of it so yeah it uses a seven and a half length of a K26 I think there's about four and a half inches of draw um, also if you're like a kid like I am this thing is super hard to prime and I can't do it with one hand so, um, yeah, it's really hard. So, I will use two hands. So, yep, it just catches back there. And unlike a plus bow, um, it can be um, any direction. Like, if it, if the cat or the like metal part rotates, it still catches. It catches on every single direction. So, there you can see um, how far it goes back. And this thing is actually pretty big. Like, there's a handle. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But yeah, so I have a hopper clip on it. It's a 10 dart hopper clip with a 14 inch barrel. And that gets pretty good ranges. But yeah, so the plunger tube is a 2 inch diameter. And yeah, let's see. I'll shoot it at a pillow. Yeah, so pretty powerful but it's just really awesome and it's incredibly efficient with a hopper clip and I on McMaster they don't have any PVC wise and or schedule 40 but they do have schedule 80 and it works with um, schedule 40 PVC just because the inner diameter of this doesn't matter because the outside diameter of um, Schedule 80 PVC is the same as normal PVC. It just has a thicker wall. So you probably, if you already knew that, that's okay. But I didn't know that, so I thought I'd let other people know. Um, and then it said to use a rubber band, but I used like a hair tie just because it's uh, a lot thicker. Um, yeah, so this works really good and it's gets better ranges than a plus bow about 120 feet with a single barrel um yeah and it doesn't use any um like it uses one of these um hex standoffs but everything else is just screwed together so you don't need a lot of pieces it costs about 70 dollars for all this plus the materials for the hopper clip so this whole thing is like 70 dollars which opposed to like a plus bow that's like almost ninety dollars or even more and it takes a lot longer it's way harder so if you're looking for something easy and affordable this is about the same price as a lock post load which is just a little pistol which is pretty crazy and it takes way less it only took me two days spending like three hours on it a day so like six hours and yeah it's really comfortable I'm probably gonna put some kind of foam on the back of the stock but yeah, it's really nice, and I really like it. Thanks for watching.